On behalf of FRG Ministry, I thank you for joining us for this celebration of the Eucharist. Today, we are collaborating with Mass for You at Home. This Mass will be broadcast all throughout Australia to tens of thousands of people. And we're blessed and honoured as a ministry to be part of this national ministry. Again, thank you to our ministry partners who make this possible. If you're able to support this ministry, please go to frgministry.com forward slash donate. So together we'll celebrate this Mass together on this Feast of the Ascension. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to this celebration of the Eucharist. Today we celebrate Ascension Sunday, but we also pray for Christian unity. Never has the church been so divided, but never have we had the opportunity for unity. And so we pray for unity. We also pray that God would show us his heart, that his prayer, that all would be one, would be fulfilled. So as we begin this time of worship, this time of prayer, let us spend a moment being aware of God's presence. And as we do that, let us call to mind our sins. Lord, you call us to share your heart of love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give us the grace to share this heart with others. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, we can trust in you every step of the way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose Son today ascended into heaven, as the apostles looked on, grant, we pray, that in accordance with this promise, we may be worthy of him, to live with us always on earth, and we with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For 40 days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at the table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witness, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. 
As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing there and looking up into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy, for the Lord the Most High we must feel. of joy the Lord goes up with trumpet blast sing praise for God sing praise sing praise to our King sing praise God mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed to bring you to full knowledge of him. May he enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his call holds for you, what rich glories he has promised the saints will inherit and how infinitely great is the power that he has exercised for us believers. This you can tell from the strength of his power at work in Christ, when he used it to raise him from the dead and to make him sit at the right hand in heaven, far above every sovereignty, authority, power or domination, or any other name that can be named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. He has put all things under his feet and made him, as the ruler of everything, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him, who fills the whole creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Go and teach your people my gospel. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, our Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are my witnesses to this. And now I am sending down to you what the Father has promised. Stay in the city then until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he took them as far as the outskirts of Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. Now, as he blessed them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. They worshipped him, and they went back to Jerusalem full of joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. It must have been so tough for the apostles. 
They were close to, close to Jesus. They loved Jesus. They had conversations with Jesus. Imagine you and I could sit down with Jesus and see him physically and have this conversation with him. I would love for that to happen because to be honest with you, I pray every day, but very often I do feel like I'm talking to an empty chair. I'm talking to a wall. But these, these apostles, disciples saw Jesus every day. They had conversations with him. But now all of a sudden, they saw right before their eyes, he was being taken up into heaven. He was not going to be with them tomorrow physically, although we know that they received the Holy Spirit. But Jesus was there in the past bringing unity. You see, don't think that the apostles were perfect. They argued all the time. Just think about the argument when they talked about who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Or even when James's mother said, hey, make sure that James sits on your right hand. And they had arguments and they had reasons to argue. But now Jesus was being taken up. And the reality is that after Jesus was taken up and the Holy Spirit came upon them, they still had times of division. In fact, we know that St. Paul had a lot of arguments with Barnabas and also with Peter. There, were, there was a lot of division amongst the church. They eventually came to figure things out through the power of the Holy Spirit. But there was a lot of division. In fact, Jesus prayed. When he prayed, he prayed, God, let them all be one. And that is the only prayer that Jesus ever prayed that till today has not been answered. Ouch. And this is why this is so important. And again, to go to another scripture verse where he says, by their fruit, you will know that I have sent them. And what is their fruit? The fruit of unity, the fruit of love. You see, to be united doesn't mean you agree with everybody. To be united means that you're ready to serve the person you disagree with, love the person you disagree with. What a beautiful act, a gesture, power of the Holy Spirit. So this ascension, let's just be aware that God still calls us to unity, calls us to love, to serve one another, especially those we don't agree with. Let us pray for unity. Let us pray that all may be one through the power of the Holy Spirit, knowing that Jesus, even though he ascended into heaven, has never left us and will never forsake us. We are about to profess that Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand because of this feast. Together, let us proclaim our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Rejoicing in Christ's glorious ascension, let us bring our petitions to the God of all. That the church, the body of Christ on earth, will carry on what Christ began with wisdom and perception. We turn to you. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the people suffering from the devastation of the pandemic will be clothed with justice and power. We turn to you. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have nowhere to live or are far from their families may find comfort in the risen Christ. We turn to you. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God of all ages, through your mighty power, you have glorified Jesus who ascended into heaven. Hear our prayers and send us forth as your witnesses to all the earth. And we ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God. 
So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection he plainly appeared to all of his disciples and was taken up into heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let us think of those right now who have died, who have no one to pray for them, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the, kingdom the power, power and glory are yours now. And, and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for joining us for this time of worship, this time of prayer, this time of entering into heaven. God, I know, has blessed you throughout this Mass. Please continue to pray for this team that we may continue to serve you, continue to be able to bring you this Mass at home. If you'd like to know more about the ministry that I run, please go to frgministry.com. There are plenty of resources, online courses, liturgies, and so much more. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where your, our nature is united with yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. joining us for the celebration of the Eucharist. We thank you also for supporting this ministry. If you're able to continue to support this ministry, please go to frgministry.com forward slash donate. Also, a reminder that we have a summit coming up. This is a free online summit with speakers from all around the world there to minister to you, to help you in your growth, in your pathway to holiness. If you'd like to register for this free event, or if you'd like a premium pass for this event, go to catholicinfluencerssummit.org. We look forward to seeing you there. God bless you and see you at Mass next week. I am so excited to invite you on behalf of FRG Ministry to our pilgrimage to the Holy Land. In the middle of October, we are going to head to Israel, to the Holy Land, to seek Jesus, the Jesus of history, to walk where he walked, where he talked, where he interacted with people. We're going to have time to pray, time to worship. We're going to have musicians there. We're going to have time to fall in love with Jesus. The spaces are limited and we invite you to register now. We look forward to seeing you and journeying with you in the footsteps of Jesus. Encounter by FRG Ministry presents our online subscription package. As a member, you will receive digital on-demand access to Encounter's growing library of online courses. Encounter and Encounter Youth online courses cover teaching, devotional and practical elements of the Catholic faith to help individuals, teachers, students and parishes across the world grow in their faith and understanding of the Catholic Church and their relationship with Jesus Christ. Current titles include Knowing Mary, School of Prayer, Introduction to the Bible, The Mass and more, with new courses being added regularly. All Encounter courses include high-definition videos with expert and engaging speakers, testimonies from everyday Catholics, and downloadable content including interactive PDF guides, prayer cards and wallpapers. These courses are also accredited for professional development for Catholic education staff in Australia. All Encounter Youth courses include teaching videos, 
interactive student and teacher PDFs with lesson plans and guided prayer and reflection. For more information about enrolment and subscription options, head to www.encountercourses.com slash subscription. Be sure to follow us on social media on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Encounter Courses. Encounter Youth by FRG Ministry presents the Kingdom of God. Join Father Obgalia, Brendan Alliston and Clara Ravdanovich in this curriculum-based online course that explores what the Kingdom of God is and how we are called to bring about this Kingdom today by following the example of Jesus. Filled with an engaging visual narrative, high-definition teaching videos, and interactive teacher and student PDFs complete with lesson plans, class activities, and more, this course is an invaluable addition to your classroom or youth group. Get access to this course and our entire Encounter Courses library at encountercourses.com forward slash subscription.